Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 8 of my NHL redesign series. We are halfway there folks. We are covering Minnesota and Montreal. That is, ep- that is 16 teams uh, that will have been covered up to this point and I am so excited to keep moving forward. So let's move on. Uh, this is going to be a, uh, a little different. Uh, as you can see, Minnesota has a off-white away jersey, but they're not an original 16. And I know I only said I did it for the original 16, but this is the exception I made as well. Um, the actual color that is used is called Minnesota Wheat, so I decided to incorporate that into their away jersey, and then the more and more I edited it, it the more it ended up covering that color. So we're actually going to move in, I'll talk about the home jersey, and we'll get to the away eventually. So, as you can see with the home jersey, we are looking at a full green jersey without red, basically. The only red is found in the crest. Now that center stripe with the uh, with the yellow outline, I was just going to leave that uh, that off white, that Minnesota wheat color, but I decided to include the tree outline, and I think that was the smartest thing I could have done. It adds such a nice uh, texture to the jersey. It adds a nice little detail, something to look to keep your eyes interested, and it works so well behind that beautiful logo. The Minnesota Wild have one of the nicest logos in the league, if not the nicest logo in the league. Now. Uh, as you can see, it's very Montreal as uh, with the center stripe and the stripe across the bottom. It looks very similar to the reverse retro uh, striping pattern. I understand that. Um, I made this months ago, and I based it primarily off the Montreal Canadiens, if I'm going to be honest. I actually uh, I really like center stripes, as you can see. I own this jersey. I own it in black, and I own it in white as well. I own all three versions of the Heritage jersey for the Senators. Um, I really like center stripes. I really like how they look. I think they look classic. I think... They'll never age uh, in, in the NHL or in any sport, really, um, that has had them for as long as the NHL has. So I really like the idea of a center stripe. I really like it with the Minnesota Wild logo, and I really like that texture I put in behind there. Um, maybe one thing I would have changed is I would have put the numbers off the shoulder into the arm because Minnesota does have some really nice shoulder patches. Uh, that one that's an M, w, an M, and then it's a W underneath, um, or just the outlines of the state of Minnesota. Uh, maybe I would have done that as well, but you know, live and let die. It is one of the nicest jerseys that I uh, designed. I love it, and for just the home and away jersey, it's going to be ranked up really high in my ranking video. Um, we'll move right into the away. As you can see with the away, I went a slightly different way, um, kind of inspired by some of their paths. I used their uh, their logo um, that has the circle around it. They use it for a while as their home jersey logo, um, and then the shoulders and the upper half of the arm are green, that yellow stripe separates it, and then goes further back down into the white. Now, I did that mainly because I wanted something different. I wanted to use a pattern that not many NHL teams use, and I wanted to use a color combination, again, not many NHL teams have. So I went with the green, the yellow, and the white. I don't like using red. Too many teams have red, um, and a lot enough of them have it as their primary color. Um, I used it as the alternate, as you saw, and we'll get into but with the with the away, I brought the numbers from the shoulder down onto the arm, uh, and yeah, just about that. I'm not a huge huge fan on the shoulder to arm or color thing. Maybe I would have changed that. Maybe I because uh, I was taking inspiration from Vegas for the shoulder or for the upper arm uh, and the sh- the shoulder color. I just kind of liked the, the idea of it bleeding down. Maybe I would change that now in hindsight. Um, the yellow collar bit right there, I love it. I think it's very nice. It's a very clean jersey and it's very very nice. Um, moving on to the alternate, I don't like this. I do not like it. There's nothing wrong with it, and it's a very nice jersey, and I could see them using it. But I think, in hindsight, after taking some time off to really appreciate uh, a lot of these designs and then seeing the other ones, I'm not a huge, huge fan of this one. Um, I just don't... It's basically... I took the main idea of the home jersey and the away jersey, and I mashed them together, and I made it that red. Um, I love the red, the red with the green stripe. I think that is beautiful. Maybe I should have just made the off white with the green stripe as the away. You live and you learn. Um, with that said, the arm and shoulder combo being green still works so much more on this jersey, I find. And I kept the numbers on the shoulders rather than move them down to where they were on the away. Um, and I, I really like it. I think it's a good mismatch and, uh, color swap of the two jerseys, but I think in, Again, in hindsight, I would change it. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it. I love the way the crest fits on the stripe, but again, I just copied that from the home jersey. And then the way the shoulders are on the arms. Again, it's very nice, but it's not exactly what I would do now. 
Um, I love the colors. Minnesota has some of the nicest colors, and it, again, it has the nicest logo in the league, in my opinion. It's so cool. The bear with the trees and the lake and the river and the stars, the eye. It's it is so cool. I I love that logo. So uh, that's pretty much it for Minnesota. I really like it, but again. I may change it in the uh, in, a, in a further redesign because I will be revisiting the NHL at some point. Uh, we're going to move on to Montreal, and I'll see you there. Okay, and here we are with Montreal. Another original six team. As you can see, I followed through with my plan to make all original six teams have that off-white jersey. Again, Minnesota is the exception. It's the only other team that has one. Um, but, man, is Montreal hard to redesign for. It has had the same jersey pretty much since 1917 that's 103 years that is ridiculous like no change basically the logo slightly in the thickness of the stripe but essentially red jersey big blue stripe white accent stripes that's it it has been the same since 1917 can we talk about that that's insane and it's such classic it, it honestly feels like hearsay it feels like blasphemy it's it's something against it. You just can't redesign the NHL or the original six like this. And the Montreal is one of the only original six teams that really hasn't deviated from their jersey history. As you can see in the reverse retro jersey, all they could do was switch the red and blue. And again, I love that jersey. Uh, I might talk. I might make a video on it and postpone my NFL series uh, by by a week. Um. But, jeez, man, that, that reverse retro jersey, that's nice. I, it's all they could do, though, really. Um, but So we'll move into the home jersey, and I'll talk about more why it was so hard. Okay, so the home jersey, as you can see, I avoided the center stripe. It was so hard. In my original uh, redesign series that I actually ended up sending to another YouTuber, uh, post a post, I'll link him in the description again, um... I just did the blue jersey. I did the exact thing they did for the reverse retro. Um, maybe I think I made a white stripe with the red outline, but either way, like it's so hard to redesign Montreal. So what I actually ended up doing was, I know the rivals, but I actually ended up taking inspiration from the Ottawa Senators. Um, the jersey that said Sens, and it had that striping pattern, I actually took the top half of that. Um, and I used it as Montreal. It was an L.A. kind of, uh, it was L.A. Ottawa inspired, but mainly Ottawa. Um, that old Sens jersey that I really like. Um, and actually you'll see, uh, how I used it in another jersey, I think. Um, but again, I kept that, I kept that logo right in the center, right where it belongs, fr uh, front and center and just large. Because Montreal, as much as I don't like them as an Ottawa fan, Montreal has been one of the most consistent teams over the course of their entire life. I mean, what I believe, it, I could be completely wrong on this, they have the most Stanley Cups. I mean, you have to respect it. Um, and again, their jersey, just changing it is so hard because the history of that jersey is so long. Um, but I think I did I think I think did pretty good here. I really, really like it. But again, it's just, it doesn't look right, you know? It's, it's Montreal. It has to be Montreal. And as you can see with the away jersey, that's what I did. I made it Montreal. I made an off-white with a blue stripe, with the red accent stripes, and just because I wanted something different, um, and I, I believe I took this from their past, and I just made it the off-white. It is so hard to do Montreal. I swear, their, uh, their white jersey right now is boring. I don't know why they don't keep the white stripe, or the center stripe, but yes, looking at the, uh, the Montreal away jersey you can see i brought back the identity of montreal in some way with that center stripe with that big crest on the center and that off white to show the history of the team and the original six it's the importance of the original six excuse me really the away jersey is just my way of paying respect after changing the home jersey because the home jersey has not changed since 1917 like i said that's insane uh moving on we do have the maroons the Montreal Maroons is the alternate. Now, this was really fun to design. I, I, I really tried to pull from uh, different histories, different teams. I tried to even make just a normal Montreal alternate. I couldn't make anything look right. I, I could have just made a blue jersey, but I had a feeling that's what the reverse retro was going to be. So I didn't want to just do that. Um, so as you can see, I went with the Montreal Maroons, and it is a beautiful, deep maroon with that off-white. I wanted to keep the age of the team because the Maroons came before the Montreal Canadiens. If you can even believe that. 
Um, so it's just a beautiful, beautiful jersey. Honestly, it doesn't even look out of place in today's NHL. You can throw that. Uh, you can throw the Montreal crest on that. Make that the. Uh, make that the Montreal's red rather than that maroon, and it could be either the alternate. It could be the new home. It's just a beautiful jersey. It's almost a one to one. Uh, the only thing I added really were the numbers on the shoulders because again, way back then they only wore the number on the back, so they only had the number in one place. I had, but current NHL rules do dictate that it has to be somewhere else. So I went with the shoulders. Um, and of course, it's just beautiful. It is so clean, so very, very classic. Um, I believe it is one-to-one -one with uh, a Maroons jersey from the past, if not slightly different. Um, I love this, this redesign. I think it is one of the nicest I covered. And uh, I'm really, really happy with it. So uh, I hope you do. I hope you like it too. And Montreal fans, fans please don't kill me. Uh, I know changing the home jersey is something that is very hard to do. And I think I did a very good job. But again, a little bias there. Okay, so thank you for tuning in to episode 8. We have covered 16 teams. It's 8 episodes. We are halfway there, folks. Thank you for sticking with me, and please stick with me for a little further. As you can see, I kept the second or the new layout for this uh, second episode with it. I think I'm starting to like it. I like the, uh, the ability to kind of like move around, get some blood flowing, uh, interact better than sitting down. I do like the sitting down. I might go back to it for some episodes, and, some, and I might not. Um, of course, as you can see, I uh, I really like it. I like being able to stand. It really helps me out. I may move out of frame and kind of up and down and whatever, but I really like it. I kind of like the uh, the interaction, talking to the camera rather than kind of beaming down on me and interrogating me. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, so thank you for tuning in. Uh, next episode is Nashville and New Jersey, I believe. Yes, I'm just looking at my calendar. Even though it's way across the room now, I'm still looking at it. So uh, I don't think I'm ever going to change that. So Nashville, New Jersey, next episode. Thank you for tuning in. We're halfway there, folks. Have a great day.